Mark, we're back on the road on Saturday, Grimsby away. How's preparation been like ahead of the game? Yeah, preparation's been good. Um, you know, we always we always work hard in training. Um, we show the respect to the other side and we need to show a lot of respect to, to Grimsby. They're, they're a good side, possess a, a lot of threats. Um, so we're going we're gonna to have to, as I say, every week in this league, we've got to be our absolute best. But more importantly, we've got we to gotta show a good reaction from last week. We were uncharacteristically off of it last, last week. Um, and we want to put it down to a bad day at the office, but we can only put it down to that if we have the response um, this Saturday. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a really tough place to go, but we've really got to embrace that challenge. I keep saying how, you know, this league is, is, is tough and um, there's quality all over it. Um, but you've got to be excited about that. You've got to really embrace that and we've got to really want those challenges. And, um, you know, this is a great game for us. It's going to be a real tough challenge, but one that we've got to go and show our character now because, like I said, we're, we're, we're hurting from last week, but that's gone now. It's been full focus on the next game. It always has been. Can't get too high, can't get too low in football. All the old cliches, but um, the important thing is, is that you know, the lads continue to work hard this week like they did the previous week and um, maybe we just uh, took eye off the ball a little bit, but um, you know, we can't be, we can't be um, given that excuse again. I spoke about reaction and character there. Obviously, the last time we played Grimsby, it was a big game for us, obviously, Remembrance Day game, and we've gone and got the 2 1 win. How important is it to try and replicate that sort of performance again this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. We've got to get back to what we're, what we're built on. The first and foremost, the things first on the team sheet are, are hard work, togetherness, grit, determination, and that's what this group is built on. So we've got to go and show that straight away, uh, and then we've got to go and impose ourselves on them. You know, we've got to, we've got to be braver on the ball, we've got to show more quality on the ball. Than, and probably we, we have done um, in, our, in our latest game. And that's all you can judge yourself on in, in football is your, is your latest game. So, you know, we've, we've got to, um, you know, get back on the horse, so to speak, get back to doing what we're, we're good at and uh, go deeper into it, work harder at it and, uh, you know, sacrifice ourselves even more for the club. Of course, there's been a few loans coming and going within the club. Obviously, the two, maybe I want to include, maybe Alfie Saunders in that as well. Obviously, Alfie Whittingham's gone out, but the two I want to include as well. What's the latest with all of them? Yeah, we've had a few incomings and, and goings. Obviously, Alfie Witt's gone out to get some, some, some match fitness. And, um, you know, he's unfortunately fell outside the, the squad for the last sort of three squads. And, uh, you know, we're, we're not in the luxury of a, of, a, of, a, of a club or a group that we want people to, one, go stale and two, go, to go, yeah, go too long without, without games. Um, James Venning's coming in and uh, enabled... Uh, I think James Venning brings something completely different, another dynamic to us. I think he has... Uh, you know, unquestioned quality on the ball. Um, you know, in our in possession game, um, you know, I, I feel is, is is something that we could improve on. I think Veno actually, you know, coming in really improves on that. And then Alfie Witt gets to go and have a have a little reset, refresh, and keep his match fitness up. So um, you know, that's sort of one out, one in. Um, we, we've got Joshua Wow going out to Salisbury again. He he went out early on loan in the early part of the season. Unfortunately, suffered an injury, was out for some time. He came back, he's played some minutes for the first team, he's shown what potential he has in some of them games, so we've got to continue his development and he needs to be playing games to, one, get his match sharpness back up, we'd been out for a while. Um, Ellis has continued his loan at, at Hayes, um, which, is, which is great, Hayes are riding high in their league and going, going for a promotion, so he's... He's in a very good side there, very well coached team down there as well. And uh, we've also brought Jordan Ngarlo in from, from Tottenham, who's no stranger to me. Um, you know, I brought him into Weymouth. Um, you know, he played in the conference for Weymouth. I think he's a, still a young man with, with, with huge potential. Um, but he's, um, you know, went and played for Tottenham. We've, um, you know, very fortunate to them. We've been able to do a deal to um, get him to our football club, where I feel that in a full-time environment, he has potential to flourish. Now, with part of that, we've got to develop him, get him used to the full-time training, and he's gone straight back out on loan to continue his, his match fitness and sharpness while we, we, while we build him up, essentially, for our first team. And of course, the other youngsters, no doubt, will look to get them more match experience as well. And also, one of those, including Alfie Saunders, who a few people have asked why he's not been included in the first game teams, but it's important because he's a young player and wants to get back in the vault, involved. Yeah, look, Alfie, I think, has scaled up very quickly, and he's a, you know, he's... Great lad to, to have around the group and that's why he hasn't gone out on loan yet because he's, he's that close to the first team and he always has been. He, um, he come out the team for a sending off, missed three games and he was cup tied so he missed four games. Um, at the moment we've got some experienced defenders, some very athletic defenders who, you know, we, up till Saturday we were, we were probably, the, for the last 10 games, probably one of the strongest defensive units in the league statistically. Um, you know, so um, it's hard to make changes. In, into a back line, which is keeping clean sheets and getting results. Alfie is biting and uh, chomping at the bit 
so to speak. And, uh, you know, he's training really hard. And that's why well, I can't allow him to go out on loan at the moment. Um, but we've got to continue to develop. But I've also got to make sure that we win football matches um, whilst developing players and, and getting the best out of them. So it's, it's always hard to get that balancing act. Um, like I said, the boys have been fantastic, every one of them to a tee. You know, the door was left slightly open last week and, uh, you know, people, rightly so, should be, um, you know, chomping at a bit to get, in, get into the team. So we've got some competition from places. We've got to keep that. But we've also got to get that balance right of not make, letting people go stale, making sure they continue to develop, but also, first and foremost, winning enough football matches to make sure we've got our status in this league. And of course, obviously you spoke about experienced defenders there. Obviously, Kev and Kins are really close to returning as well. Yeah, well, Kins, unfortunately, was his, his knee, he, he doesn't need any surgery. So he's on a rehabilitation at the moment. Um, so we sort of had, we had good news on it because it could have been a lot worse, but he's still um, somewhere away, unfortunately. So, you know, he's, he's going to be a good month yet. Um, Kev Locko has completed the full week with us, which is, which is fantastic. Certainly can't get carried away ahead of ourselves with that one because the amount of time that he has been out. So, um, like I said uh, last week, he's, he's great to have around a group. His character, his presence really really lifts the group. Um, so he's someone who we're really looking forward to coming back, but I have to tread very carefully um, on on how we reintroduce him because he's, he's obviously lacking a lot of match, uh, match sharpness, fitness. And also his training, he's still very early on in, 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 in his comeback, but one we will get back as quick as we can, but also as safe it is we can. Because of course it is a very young squad here, one of the youngest in the league and that sort of experience coming back and getting involved will know that help the younger players as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, you probably know more than I know about, you know, this. I say this is the club of opportunity. You can look at it two ways. I always look at it as a good thing. You know, we, I think since we've been here, I think we have fielded the youngest team in the league most, most weeks. And um, that started to change as we started to get a few of our older experienced players back and we're probably trying to get that balance. But, you know, youthful players always bring that energy sometimes that you know sometimes that lack that lack of fear is is um, is, is is a great thing and they bring that sprightly energy but again you've got to be careful because they peak and trough and it's natural um, we're just trying to always get that balance right it's such a, a tricky balance to get right but we certainly want to be continue to grow our young assets give them opportunities but then also uh, you know get the right experience around them to, to help them along as well because the training's one thing but being out on that pitch a few older heads around them certainly help and Kevin Locko is certainly one of those. Just to finalise with the long journey to Grimsby no doubt that sort of experience and importance will play a part on the game on Saturday. Yeah another experience for, for our group we don't stay away much that is for sure we're, we're doing it properly we're you know we stayed away at Kings Lynn and this is our you know we're staying away uh, tonight so uh, it's a chance for us and, and our younger players to get used to travelling away that's what f professional football's like you know on the road on the travel uh, different hotels you know how, how, how the, the mechanics of away day travel and, and preparation work it's all going to be another good experience but not only that it's a good chance for us as a group to get together we enjoy each other's company and um, yeah I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy our, our company um, tonight and uh, hopefully it'll be a happy trip home Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.